What's good fam, it's your boy Hover676 and this is my journey from a fat dad to a fit dad. What's good fams? Welcome to my vlog of going from a fat dad to a fit dad. We are in week 31. I hope you are well, hope you are vibing, hope you are safe. Uh, it's a new week, so I'm starting off with a new quote. Week 31, do it scared, do it broke, do it alone, do it unsure, but do it anyways. That's the motivation for this week, man. Just do it. Mike, you should sponsor me. Yo, just <laughs> Kids are getting ready for school, and uh, I've got a... I was supposed to go to the gym early this morning, but I was up late editing last night. So I'll find some time to go to the gym. Um, fairly busy day today for Monday. Not too busy, but as always, we just keep chipping away. So if you guys watched last week's vlog, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and looking forward to this week to keep uh, putting in that work. So stay tuned. Man, it's been a flat out morning this morning, eh? It's got a few things due been sending that off um my wife took the girls to school and literally as they got out my 10 year old just puked her guts out so they come back home my wife's taking her to the doctors these kids in the immune system man yeah. um she had like a a shake this morning like up and go which is always like a strawberry ready breakfast kind of thingy but I think it was out of date, but she read the dates wrong because literally after she drank that and they went to school, she puked the guts out. So they're at the doctors. Um, just got off the phone with the wife. She's all good. She's just been given some. She's been given some uh, meds to help her with the vomiting and stuff. But yeah, I'm just chipping away. Um, got a bit of traveling this week, just for one day. Just heading over to Melbourne for collaboration with my little one. Uh, so I'm just trying to get all this stuff done. Uh, I got something due tomorrow. So it's a busy week. Um, yeah, I kind of wish I went to the gym early this morning now because I still got to squeeze that into the day. I might actually go on my lunch break. So let's just get this stuff done and then I'll shoot off to the gym, get a workout in. Uh, yeah, I've been so busy. I haven't uh, been able to make breakfast yet and I'm starving. But I'll see what I can whip up after this. I've seen some comments on my uh, last week's vlog because I... I guess I just showcased more a bit of around my cooking and stuff, so appreciate the love on that. Um, yeah. Not gonna lie, man, that was freaking hard. Hence why I do leg day on Monday, try to get it out of the way. What a freak. I was digging deep for those ones, eh? Whew. Now I gotta stop by Bunnings and get some stuff, then go home. So, got me a protein shake on the go. Um, in, I mean, if she can tolerate food, like after she has a cracker or something, uh, I don't wanna kind of push her eating though. Yeah, alright then. Because the last thing I need is for her to go into hospitals. Yeah. Message me yeah. um if we need anything else. 
Yeah, all good. Yeah. All right then. Oh, yeah. All good. Love you. Love you. Sure. We're just making some Christmas content and uh, if you guys seen last week, I went into the bushes and I got a bunch of branches because we had to make a Christmas wreath. This is it. How cool does that look, man? Not bad, eh? Oh, yeah, well. We just finished setting up. Sorry, guys, I can't show you guys the final product, but it looks good. Maybe later on down the path, then I'll show it, but it has to get approved by the client first before I can post it up. <laughs> so, thank you to my beautiful wife and the girls. The beautiful kids. Beautiful kids. Hello. For helping out. Dad. Now we just uh, wait till it gets a bit dark, then we'll record another video. And then go in and make some dinner because I'm starving. <laughs> oh yeah, fairly productive day. What are these girls up to, man? Are you hungry? Yes. Who's putting away these towels? Um, I made a dinner though, I think. Okay. Alright, I'll make some dinner. Tonight for dinner we have papery chicken. I'm gonna make that with some salad and some rice. Oh, I think I left this stuff to defrost, but it smells like somebody put dishwashing liquid in it. Bloody kids. Alright fans, it's dinner time. We have some salad and we got some rice and peri peri chicken. So let's eat man because I'm starving. The chicken spicy? It's not spicy, it looks spicy but it's not spicy. The chicken is kind of dry so it's not... No, you don't come to the chicken, you just cooked it. It's not dry, it's perfectly done. Look at that. I'm offended. It's because it's cold. No, you're cold. Look at that, it's not even dry. Your forehead's dry. No, your stomach's dry, that's why you're vomiting dry heaving today. Yeah. <laughs> that's your fault for, for not updating your fridge. No, that's your fault for not eating the breakfast I make. Mel, I want to get us a new bed. From here. <laughs> Salvation Army? Oh my god, yeah, I'm, I'm What's wrong with Salvation Army? Thank you for the food. You're almost spoiled, man. I'm getting my own. Oh. No, she's this one. With what? Money. What money? $30. Oh, $35,000. Oh. Your $30 are long gone. I mean, I'm saving. No, she hasn't. Right and early this morning. I had to make my way to the gym to get this workout in. 
we're heading into summer and as the sunrise rises a lot earlier it's my body's still getting used to it because like I come outside and I see the sun out and I'm like oh crap I'm running late and you look at the watch and it's only like 4 30 well it's 4 50 now but yeah anyways heading to the gym uh sorry if you guys can't see me I don't know this morning I feel like I need to provide a few people out there with some motivation possibly because this is something I I think of sometimes in the morning or when I go to the gym and stuff a lot of the healthy and like I guess trying to better your life a lot of the stuff is repetitive eh? it's same crap different day the eating the going to the gym or the working out your workout program a lot of the stuff as you guys see my vlogs a lot of the stuff is the same and there's nothing wrong with change but all I'm saying is hang in there put your head down just keep chipping away some days it may feel like it's boring some days it may feel like there's no progress at all but just hang in there give it another rep give it another day and just keep pushing forward that's my little encouragement for today um, don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with like trying to change and improve yourself for the better or learning something new and adding to it but what I'm saying overall is like once you find something that works just roll with it and it's it's gonna be days where you wake up and you're like man I've been doing this for the past three months four months hang in there man I'm not just talking about physical health I'm not just talking about workouts and eating I'm talking about like everything if you're saving up if you're working on a new skill just hang in there and keep pushing forward that's my little encouragement today I feel like I needed myself to hear that but I know that there's a lot of people that's watching this that's gonna need to hear that as well so put your head down and just keep grinding man just keep grinding Today's work done and dusted, fam. You already know the drill, man. Getting in little deposits for the day. Oh! Ah, good sesh, good sesh. Didn't do any walking today or cycling because I plan to go for a walk this afternoon with my girls. Get my steps in on that way. But overall, good chest sesh. Um, started off with bench. Today's weight was 140. Uh, five sets of three reps. And then we done incline on the machine. Uh, finished off with flies for chest and then we done a bit of back. I don't like that T-roll machine, eh? the one where I stand on an angle. Um, Cause the the padding is like pushing up, like right where my, um, my diaphragm is. You guys see those clouds and the humidity? Feel the arthritis in my finger playing up right now. <laughs> Seriously, man. I just got back from the gym and I'm like, uh oh. 
there's a bit of a tingling pain i'm starting to feel creep up so i wouldn't be surprised if i wake up tomorrow morning tomorrow morning and i can't squeeze my arm Stickle. no i had a really great sleep <laughs> <laughs> it's because i've gone back to netball so my body's ready to sleep again right? yeah if only like little people didn't climb in our bed and like kick the crap out of us while we're asleep hey <laughs> no <laughs> are you okay you want to say good morning to my vlog? No? You guys just want all strawberries for fruit snack? Mm -hmm. Mele, what are you looking for? Your socks? some fruits with Greek yogurt and a bit of honey. Let's eat. This is Love you. Love you. Love you, my baby. Have a good day. Let's drop the girls off and we've uh, pulled up to get my wife's fix. <laughs> She's an addict, guys. Wow. <laughs> hey, oh, we could definitely use a cup of coffee. <gasps> I'm so tired wondering. now. You're feeling sleepy. Mm. We're gonna get coffee and then head out to um, the hardware shop to look at some stuff because we want to do a project. Peter wants to make a dining table for us. Are you gonna make chairs or should we make a bench? Uh, I was thinking bench. Or should we buy like three chairs on one side and bench on the other? Or just two benches? Yeah, we could do that. I was thinking of that. Morning, can I please get a tall coffee fusion? Yeah, cream on top. Ah, uh, yes, please. Can we add extra ice blended in with a little bit of ice cream blended in as well? Yeah, anything else? Yeah, can I get a short uh, latte, a uh, short uh, Americano, please? Sorry, what? Uh, short Americano. Short Americano, yeah, anything else? Can I top that up with a bit of milk? Little bit yes, yeah. please. That was all. Thank you. Easy drive through. Thank you. I'm that person that walks around with a cup of coffee in my hand. <laughs> I'm that person walking around with a cup of coffee and a GoPro in my hand. Oh, that's the one, yeah. Yeah, these. Yeah. That's a good height, these too. For the, um, the stand. Table, and yeah. then get the small one for the bench. For the, um, the bench. Yeah. Um, See that two of those together would be a good width. So we're, oh, we we want to do I make our own table. This. Why are you trying to lift it? Because we're the ones that are going to be putting the table in the, in the dining area. Oh, the oh that's alright. I go to the gym. Huh? <laughs> 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 this is what I go to the gym for. So I lift your shit around. Oh, this is too thin. Definitely getting our steps in. I need to find the bricks. Oh, it's over there. I assume this is like what old retiree people like come and do during their free time in the day, which is the whole day. They come to like the hardware and look at like the plants and stuff and be like, wow. This cactus here is uh, one of the very rare cactuses that grow in the land of cactuses. Oh my god. <laughs> You're an egg. Wow. Look at this hibiscus, guys. Look at the flowers. <laughs> wow, are those daffodils? They're daffodils. <laughs> oh, did she say chives? I'm sold. Let's go get some of our herbs. <laughs> the good herbs. <laughs> Y'all got good herbs? Y'all got herbs and spices? <laughs> You're annoying. <laughs> wow, guys. Look at these tomatoes. No, that's oregano. Isn't oregano a state in the States? Oh my god. Orga oregano. Or origin. Oregon. 
the cucumber. <laughs> they got lettuce. No, we should seriously start up a backyard um backyard uh, garden. Oh my gosh, this is the citrus section. Every type of citrus, lime, lemon, oranges. Lychee. Well, is that a lychee tree? Oh, damn. Shit, that's expensive. Yeah. They ain't lying, G. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> over here, we got the security bushes. Security. And we got the palms over here. Yeah, on a palm. Let me see the price. Oh. Yeah, we'll just palm that off. <laughs> $299, bro. See, it's something like this for the front. So it's like a a big pot and a little pot. Mm -hmm. Or like this. Ooh, I like this. I like this. This here is a garden bed, guys. But you know what I have an idea for? I would buy this. Fill it up with firewood and light it up. Put a grill plate over it. Voila. Hello. Think smart. Watch out behind you, man. Okay, here you go. I said, we'll just watch out behind you for cars. Got some stuff from Bunnings. Containers and washing liquid. <laughs> yeah. Guys, get it from Bunnings, it's cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> you wash as much as me, you need it. Thanks, sir. Finalo. Got some uh, leftover rice, so I'm gonna make me. Some rice and eggs for lunch. Forty-two calories altogether. That's good feed. Shaw fams. So I am going to uh, decorate this front part. Being that Halloween is uh, on Thursday, I'm gonna decorate it for Halloween. Put some stuff up. But first, I gotta cut the grass. So let me mow the lawn real quick. Getting in my daily exercise as well, moving around. Um, and yes, if you've watched the previous videos of me mowing the lawn. I mow it bare feet because I am at home and I'm comfortable. So let me mow the lawn. are done made me some uh, Powerade and then um, yeah we have like a 10 minute break that's a bit warm today eh? and then after that we're gonna check out these Halloween decorations before the kids get home so we can surprise them we just uh, finished putting up the decorations fam check it out we got the lights dangling off the tree we got the little pumpkins the skull, a little of light, the witches, hey. Hey. <laughs> the lights, and then this is my favorite one, this one here, boom, the spider, <laughs> and those lights, how cool is that, not bad, I reckon when the kids come, we'll sit in this corner here, 
like at night time. Off all the lights are just like these ones. Mm. And just sit here. Like a chair on each side. Yeah, just hide here. Like, But it's all pitch black, black with only these lights. Yeah. And as soon as a kid comes through. Yeah. Give me your money, bitch. <laughs> 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 Is your dad a realtor? No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look how scary this spider looks, man. Ah, feeling tired as. Was dozing off while I was sitting on the couch. We're about to head out. Ah. Are you again? Just bit my tongue. Oh, I hate the <laughs> that. <laughs> you know, in the tongue and saying they say if you bit your tongue, someone's tongue you smack them on you. Yeah, I know. You told me that. That's why every time I bite my tongue, I look at the girls <laughs> in my class. <laughs> They're so annoying. They always talk about me. We're uh, heading out to take Nini to a gym gym class. Um, but yeah, productive day. Done the lawns. Put up the decorations for Halloween. Got my uh, content sent out. Pretty productive day. Now I'm taking this girl to her gym stuff. I don't get paid enough to do this crap. You're my father, you have to do this. <laughs> my uh, family's just gone out because my wife and my daughter's got basketball. And I want to make some dinner, so... Got some steak. I'm going to make like a Mongolian steak for them with rice. And then I'm just going to make my steak on its own with some veggies and potato. So, let's make it. Outside, so let's go light up the Halloween lights, eh? Look at that. Look at that. How good does that look? Not too bad, eh? These ones need a bit more time than the freaking solar. I think I'm supposed to. There's a spider. Oh, let's go. Something like this. Ooh, check that out. <laughs> yeah, boy. It's looking good. Pretty happy with it. Lights down. Alright, fam, it's time to eat. Let me show you guys my dinner. I have steak, eggs, and veggies. And this was supposed to be like a potato. I don't even know what it was. It's potato. We'll just go with that. <laughs> Let's eat, man, because I'm hungry. Now, honestly, the amount of cooking edits I've been doing for these vlogs probably should turn this page into a cooking page, eh? Morning, fams. <sighs> another day, another day. I'm gonna hit the gym. I'm just gonna. Get my pre-workout in and then hit the gym for a soul sesh. So let's go.
just finished my workout sesh fams um yeah just got in got a little arm day didn't jump on the treadmill or on the bike today because i'm traveling today and there's already going to be a lot of walking involved in that but um good sesh uh i got some great news man so obviously i'm fairly new on youtube uh well not new on youtube but like my in my posting and stuff you know i'm still growing my channel but i've been on tiktok and that's been my first um social media platform to go off and i'm sitting at 1.4 mil followers not that that has anything to do with this or anything but um i can finally share this with you guys but i've been nominated for um, australian content uh comedy content creator of the year and um one, it's crazy that TikTok has awards. But two, just to be nominated for that is, um, I don't know, man. That's massive for me. That's massive. That's, I don't know. I don't know what to say, man. Um, I, not once did I think that during COVID, me and my kids would jump on a platform and just post videos to bring joy to everyone in lockdown. That one day I'd be nominated for an award like this. Not only that, disregard the reward, the award and everything. TikTok has given me such a massive community. It's given me so many opportunities, um, so many experiences, not only me, but my family. And so for that, I am forever grateful. And I'm forever grateful for my platform. Forever grateful that I'm blessed with, um, I guess, the gift to bring joy to many people in this world. And so, yeah, this is massive. Um, the award is next month and I'm super excited. But, fams, if you guys have a TikTok, please jump on the platform. Check out my uh, profile. It's Javier676. Um, hit the link in my bio and please vote for me for Comedy Creator of the Year. Um, whether I get it or not, just to be nominated is a massive achievement for me. So, please, I would really appreciate it if you guys could vote for me. Um, if you can't find my page, Javier676, uh, same name, username as my YouTube jump on um tiktok uh the tiktok tiktok page um and the link should be in that as well but man we'll keep pushing forward forever grateful my heart is filled and um just just feeling really blessed super grateful and uh nothing's changed man we keep pushing forward we keep bringing those positive vibes and we keep trying to make people laugh and brighten up their day so let's go man let's go. my uh, post gym feed is steak some mushrooms and rice check it out it's a fairly big meal this morning because uh, we're traveling and so i'm not gonna eat until i get to melbourne <laughs> but uh yeah gotta load up on that protein hi dad i'll see you later okay thank you mm. love you Bye. Yeah. Okay, love nice you. shit, man. Yeah, okay. Alright, love you. Okay. Alright, see you guys. You travel safe, yeah? Say bye to my vlog. Yeah. Okay, love you. Love you. Tell me I say hi. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah. Drive safe. Yeah. My doctor, my. Okay, love you guys. See ya. Bye. bye. <laughs> okay. Just got dropped off to the airport. So, what's up? I'm about to check in. Hey. <laughs> How are you going? Hello. Oh, thank you. You're just amazing. Thank you so much. Appreciate thank it. You. Cheers. Have a great day. <laughs> well, actually, we actually checked in already, thanks to my wife. We just head up to the gate. So, a little day trip to Melbourne. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah? You're a bit quiet. Because I thought we were going to go in the elevator. I don't want to. No, we're not going in the elevator. If you step back, you're gonna fall down. Yeah. Because if you're on the edge, Well, you don't fall up, you always fall down. <laughs> Lucky thing we came a bit early because they changed up, kind of, they closed off one side, the side that we're usually used to coming through. We've had to walk all the way to the other side, so got our steps up. Waiting to board our flight and uh, just editing content. This girl, man, she's hungry already. <laughs> I'm good because I had a big breakfast this morning, so I'm sweet as. Oh. 
Kumpel. Yeah. Yeah, right. So. You're right. <laughs> Which one are we getting? That one. Yeah. The whole thing. Why don't you get the little box? The little box. Oh. Yeah. Finally boarding, eh? <laughs> bit of a hiccup, we had to change gates, but finally boarding. Tired. Tired? Yeah. <laughs> so I've never walked in this way. Yeah. I've only walked in the front way. Why can't we walk in the front way? Because we're at the back. Oh. Man, it's hot. My mate told me Melbourne's actually cold right now, so we'll see how we go over there. That in the front. We just landed. That was a bit of a rough ride. Eh? Turbulence was like pretty bad. Thank God we landed safely. Yeah, but it went like this. And then it kept on going up and down side to side. Yeah. Ah. So my best mate lives in Melbourne. And he gave me a ring this morning and he told me that it was raining. It was bright and sunny. But apparently Melbourne weather is like bipolar as. Damn, it's actually cold. <laughs> it is cold. It's nice and windy, eh? It looks hot, but it's cold. It does, it looks really hot, but it's actually cold. <sighs> Definitely getting our steps in. <laughs> no, no, we're not outside yet, we're still walking down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're coming. We're coming down to the door now. Oh. Okay, we'll go to the second lane. We'll see you then. Alright. Alright, see ya. Smile. So, Dago. What's up, bro? Says up to the vlog, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good yeah. to see you, bro. You're one of these guys now, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those guys with the camera, eh? What's <laughs> up? <laughs> oh my gosh! Bro, the flight was oh, bad. The flight was bad. Yeah, Mele, yeah. look at the bridge. This is a bridge? Yeah, this is gonna be a bridge here. Yeah. I don't know what's worse. Um, the traffic here in Melbourne or this guy's uh, Tuvalu in playlist? <laughs> All the remixes from the uncles here, bro. <laughs> Someone's over the traveling already. Just parked up. We gotta go and uh, check into our hotel. We're at the Novotel in. What's this place called? Waverly. Glen Waverly. Glen Waverly. There you go. Oh, That's nice. Yay, two beds. <laughs> this is my bed. Hey. <laughs> so you should call it. Yeah, go ahead, bro. I'm gonna on the see you. Yeah, leave it on. What a view. Oh no, <laughs> this is the brick wall. Daddy? <laughs> go. Go here, yeah. What is it? Oh, that goes to the other room, but we don't go through there. This girl thinks this is a bloody playground. I can tell you from Kabucha, mate. <laughs> People driving past us holding hands in the middle. Look at that cute gay, gay couple. <laughs> Where's Point Piper? In Sydney and Vaucluse. So we're in this uh, suburb called what? Turek. Turek. Isn't the Turek in Fiji? <laughs> no, not that one. <laughs> Apparently, this is like top five, top three riches uh, suburbs, bro. See the house there? It's about a quarter mil. No. <laughs> not even. That's sitting at ten. Ten. It's the land. Oh, you know it's rich when you got a trim line running in the middle of the road. <laughs> I'll show you this Greek house. It's <laughs> Turek, Fiji. <laughs> That's what I thought of when I seen the name. <laughs> yeah, even in the same. Like, oh, if you got a two racket Fiji, that's the top three. Uh, you know stopping? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you gotta watch out. They, they get out that way. On that side. You might. 
people run them over all the time. Really? The new people, yeah. <laughs> the ones that the new well, they them. try to overtake the thing and... Oh, should bug out here, hey? <laughs> Just a dodgy mm. ass. That's a house? That's a house. You want me to turn around? No, 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 we're good, we're good, man. <laughs> We're just uh, looking at houses um, probably we'll never afford oh, in our sale. life. <laughs> oh, it's for sale. Um, I might hit up the real estate agent later. 30 mil. Hey, boss. Where's the nearest uh, kebab shop here? <laughs> <laughs> These people probably don't even eat kebabs. No. Oh. These are like old mansions, eh? Yup. Must be nice. When you, leave, when you leave here, I'll come visit you. Yeah, you bro. Can. Keep uh, subscribing, fams. Hopefully, one day we'll come and um, fix the gardens for these people here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, check that right out. <laughs> this is like. Damn. Some big houses. Eddie, 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 what's his name? Eddie McGuire is around here. I thought you were going to say Eddie Murphy. I was going to say, no, not, not that bad. <laughs> Who's Eddie McGuire? Eddie McGuire, the president, he's president of um, Collingwood. The guy that does, um, who wants to be a millionaire. Mate, don't talk to me about AFL. I don't even know anything about it. Hey, you're doing AFL commercials. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Didn't Brisbane win it? They won it, yeah? Yeah, they did. Yeah, uh, the Lions. Yeah. Damn. Forgot to bring a jump, eh? It's to be a jumper, it's cold. You okay? Yeah. Um, there's daylight saving here in Melbourne and it's almost eight o'clock and the sun is still bright. Out. No. Just at Nia's house, just kicking back. Um, his wife is still finishing off some stuff and then we're gonna head out for dinner, but it is like, Almost nine o'clock, yeah. You okay? Yeah. Tired? Mm -hmm. This girl's tired, man. All the flying and driving. Sleep in tomorrow? Because mm -hmm. we don't have to check out till 11. Yeah? Hey, milk lollies. Follow the milk lollies. Do you want to try? Yeah. Mm. This is Tuvalu and lollies, bro. Mmm. It tastes like, um... Snowballs. We call them snowballs. You know the Indian sweets? They give out, like, Diwali and stuff? Yeah. Yep. We're the only city that gets traffic at night, bro. <laughs> Every night. Bloody roadworks, mate. <laughs> look how busy it is. Look how yeah. many. Look, look at them. Yeah. It is what? Almost 11 p.m. We're just going out for dinner now. <laughs> but it's so packed. <laughs> the town's still super busy. Oh, I'm interested. Nah. Well, it's the city, yeah, probably. Probably the valley. Perfect. Mele. She out. Oh, poor <laughs> Trying to get some dinner, fams. This girl's tired as a. <laughs> you all good? But I'm surprised how busy this freaking city is still. Oh, we're gonna run across. We're good. This is alright. Bro, this place is dangerous, man. And it's still packed. It's like almost midnight. Check out the food. Let's eat, man. Let's eat. This is our plate. Big more meat. Ready? You can tell this guy's a lifelong member here. <laughs> that look really good though. <laughs> I'm gonna try it when I get lettuce. I'll go get some lettuce. Eh? Yeah. Top of the morning, fams. 
in the beautiful city of Melbourne. Oh, man. We got home late last night, eh? Well, early. Got home like around 1 a.m. Um, yeah, had a good dinner. Not gonna lie, but yeah, food was good. Uh, went to town on that Korean barbecue. <laughs> it is what it is. So, uh, new, um, that's, that's my best mate. He lives in Melbourne. Uh, we met way back in the day when we were in university. We were like the only two islanders that went to uni at that, at that university at the time. And um, we've been mates since then. Um, and he moved to Melbourne. So the man was supposed to like graduate. He had one more term, one more um, semester to graduate law. And then he left it. Um, and he came to Melbourne to play rugby and um, I guess just follow his, his dream. And so, yeah, left university before he even graduated with a law degree. And um, now he lives in Melbourne, he's married. Uh, I went to his wedding back in 2017, I believe, in Fiji. Um, but now him and his beautiful wife live here in Melbourne. And so every time I come to Melbourne, um, it's always good because I have someone to come to. But um, yeah, every time I come to Melbourne, I always come for like just a day. Because the last time I was in Melbourne, I came for a music concert and it was just like overnight. And we keep catching up like that and he keeps telling me like, bro, you gotta make some time to come with the family and like stay longer than just one day. So yeah, definitely on the cards next year. Might bring the kids um, and stay a bit longer here. But yeah, he took us out to dinner to this spot. Um, it was like a Korean barbecue, but like a buffet and stuff. And so we had a good dinner. Um, we got back around 1 a.m., went to bed and now, uh, uh, yeah, me and Melis just woke up. Melis just getting ready. We got to head out today. Um, yeah, I wanted to go to the gym this morning before we go. They got a little gym downstairs, but um, I don't know. I wasn't comfortable leaving Mel in the room by herself. So I don't know if I'll hit the gym today because we got to go to this event that we're at today. And then um, me and Melis got to find our way back to the airport and I was thinking that we were going to train just to kind of explore Melbourne City a bit. So we'll see how we go. But yeah, stay tuned. I'll keep you guys posted, man. But it's just another day. We wake up and we're grateful. We keep pushing forward. So let's go. All right, fans. We're about to go to breakfast and then we hit the road, go to this event, and then we make our way to the airport and fly back to Brisbane. How are we feeling? Yeah, tired? This is our little fit check. Yeah. All right, let's go get some breakfast. What do you have, though? You want eggs? <laughs> Ooh, what do they got? We got sausages, scrambled eggs. We got mushrooms, hash browns. They got a good breakfast. Let's eat. This is, uh, Breakfast. We got hash browns, sausages, eggs, mushrooms, and bacon. Fairly big breakfast this morning because I don't plan on eating anything else until we get back to Brisbane. <laughs> um, so this is my one meal, and then we're gonna be busy going to this event and jump on a plane and then have dinner back home. So let's eat. We're done and dusted now. Here's my little advice when it comes to um, like buffets and stuff and good food. Obviously, because there's so much good breakfast right now. What I've done was um, dished up my plate with little bits of everything I wanted. And then I came and sat down, finished this plate. And immediately my mind was like, oh, I will get some more. But what you have to do is like give it some time to let the food settle and actually sit there and Get your thoughts to rethink like do i actually need another plate or do i want another plate and um yeah like one plate is in more than enough that's the same thing i done last night at the buffet dinner um that kind of helped me especially when i come to places like this where there's a lot of food like my brain tends to shut off and i just eat without thinking and i'm like bro there's so much food i gotta eat i just dish my plate sit down 
finish that and then I give it a little break and I'm like, do I actually need more food or should we call it a day? I'm gonna call it a day here. <laughs> you good? Morning bro. Seatbelt on maybe? We just finished. That was a little uh, event that we went to with uh, Amazon, which is really cool. We also got a goodie bag. We gotta figure out how to fit this in my bag, jump on the plane. But we're gonna make our way to the airport. Yeah? yeah. What do you reckon? Are you hungry? Yeah. I'm a bit thirsty here. Yeah. Get some water or something. Yeah. There's an anytime fitness right here, man. Should have just went gym after this. <laughs> Are you cool if I go to the gym real quick? No. No? Okay. Never mind guys, the boss has said no. Oh, it's a laptop. It's a timer. Um, you got a gift pack from Amazon as well, so check it out. Honey. Oh, we can't take that on the plane. Why? Because they won't let us take it. Can you see that? What is that? Honey sticks off. Damn, they gave us some good stuff, eh? Well, Earphones, Alexa. True. Yeah, better lifestyle. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm multicultural. Multicultural, yeah. Plus more politics. Yeah. I live in Israel for eight years. Thank you. 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 I feel like this is international. Oh, oh, domestic is on that side. Come. That was like about an hour drive to the airport. So Miller dozed off and then I dozed off. Woke up. Just two minutes before we got in. But yeah, we gotta, gotta look for the domestic because I feel like we're on the international side, eh? We got dropped off at the wrong terminal. Uh, we're at the International Terminal at Qantas so we want to walk all the way to the other side to the domestic and to Virgin Australia so bright side didn't get the workout in but we're getting our steps in for sure so yeah this girl's so over <laughs> did they say Mello? somebody say Mello? We gotta walk all the way over there. Hmm? They said. They said, buddy, buddy. <laughs> huh? Put our gate on the other side of friggin' Melbourne, bro. Still walking. We're at gate eight. And we've just come up to gate one. And to top it off, this goes to. Said it's too heavy to carry her bag, so. Looks like another full flight, fam.
We made it. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> you see mommy and the girls? Yeah. Yeah. Back to uh, hot, humid Brisbane weather. <laughs> Melbourne was cold. Get off here and it's hot and humid again. But it's good to be home. It feels like we were out longer than that, but I think it's just because we were so busy. <sighs> hey! What's up, girls? Yo, what's goody, fams? Happy Friday. Um, yeah, had a little sleep in this morning. Friggin' tired from all that traveling, eh? We were so busy over the past two days, so. Woke up this morning, I set my alarm for the gym early this morning. Woke up, snoozed it, I was like, I'm going back to bed. So I'll make some time to go to the gym today. But, um, fairly busy morning. I have stuff that's due this morning, so just working on that. Um, kids are getting ready for school. And then, yeah, might finish that and then shoot off to the gym and get my workout in for the week. Still uh, chipping away with editing. Made me some breakfast, man, just a quick one. Bowl of Nutri-Grain cereal. Um, I'm on a timeline, deadline, sorry, with this stuff, so just trying to finish it, send it through. I think I've got about like 30 minutes or an hour left to finish editing and then send it off uh, for approval before I can post it, so I just had some lunch. My wife made fried rice uh, yesterday, so I had some of that leftovers for lunch, and now I'm just about to jump in the meeting. Um, and then the girls get home from school and I'm gonna hit the gym to get my workout in for the day. It's time to hit the gym. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling really lazy today, eh? Just drained, like tired, but still gotta get my work in. Um, I had a meeting, super exciting, it's for my TikTok awards. Uh, just running through some of the stuff as we get closer to the date. The award is in November uh, in Sydney. And I just found out today that um, my wife can come along as a plus one. So that's awesome news. Um, they'll fly me to Sydney obviously and cover everything and all the expenses. Uh, so yeah, I, I still can't believe that I was nominated for Comedy Creator of the Year. That's massive um, for Australia and New Zealand. So um, it's crazy because I follow so many comedy pages and I know there's a lot of people that I find funnier than myself um, and that I believe should be up there in the nominees. But hey, we've been nominated, we'll take it. Uh, hopefully my followers uh, push through with the votes and get me a dub, but if not, even being nominated is still a massive win. Uh, yeah, so my wife got back from work. I was ready to go gym like an hour ago. Uh, I was just waiting, she got home, took the keys. And then my manager messaged and she's like, oh, this content you sent through today just needs some edit. So I had to go back in and like re-edit the stuff. It was a voiceover, so I had to re-edit the audio side. And I was like, oh, freak. But that's the, I think that's one of the things as a content creator working with like massive companies uh, and brands, their uh, approval process is pretty, it, it gets a, a bit, um, I wouldn't say annoying, but it gets a bit draining at times because they're so, especially big brands. Um, and the brand I'm working with right now, they're pretty big here in Australia. So their approval process is, it's like down to the dot, man. You gotta get everything right. And fair enough, because they're investing a bit of money into like promoting. Not only that, it's their brand at stake. So I fully understand, but at times I'm just like, ah, frick. But hey, I signed up for it, man. This That's a life of a content creator, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, finished that, sent it through. And then I was like, I'm gonna hit the gym. Hopefully by the time I finish gym, I get a message uh, saying approve. This, those are the best messages I get from my manager when they say like, oh, uh, content has been approved and they give me a post date. Then I'm like, sweet. <laughs>
was a that was a hot sesh. I um wasn't going in 100 percent but still gave it my 100 percent if that makes sense it is what it is still got in put something in like i say all the time man little deposits whether it's big or little as long as making a deposit still adding up to the day so we'll leave it at that um gonna stop by the shop get some stuff for dinner and then head home yeah Whew, i'm tired eh? Fams, it's dinner time. We got steak, some broccoli. Let's eat. So good morning, fams. Mm. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna storm today. How are we? Hope everyone's well. We are on day six, week 31. Just woke up, gonna hit the gym, finish off this week strong. Uh, but yeah. Just keep chipping away come across this board and a kind reminder for this week's uh motivational quote do it scared do it broke do it alone do it unsure but do it anyways so that's what we'll be doing this morning <laughs> um yeah got a good night's sleep feel like i could sleep some more to be honest but yeah, let's go and hit the gym, get that workout in, start the day right, finish the week strong, and we'll just keep chipping on. So let's go. Said to bring the washing in because my wife is sleeping, and it looks like it's gonna rain. And yeah, last thing I need is for her to wake up and the clothes is all wet again. She had night shift last night, so. Just uh, being considerate, <laughs> very mindful. All right, now let's go to the gym. Good sesh fams, good way to finish off the week. Now just heading to the shops to grab a few groceries, top up the school lunches for the kids and sort everything else out. All right, got some bread, some sandwich stuff, turkey, lettuce, tomatoes and avocado. Let's go and make a good breakfast man because I'm hungry as. So fams, we're going to end the vlog here for this week. Week 31, in the vault, done and dusted. Uh, pretty average week, apart from the traveling to Melbourne, but summarizing everything, yeah. We just keep chipping away, keep making the deposits, and just keep trying to work towards uh, getting fitter. Um, I got one more cycle next week of this heavy lifting cycle, and then after that, yeah, I might look at getting a new training program. Um, just kind of go from like the heavy lifting into more so, uh, I guess, cardio based lifting, if that makes sense. Just stuff to keep my heart rate up, get moving a lot more. Um, but yeah, all we can do is try. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Uh, I hope you guys stay safe, stay vibing, stay well, stay healthy. And uh, tune in next week for week 32, man. 
Um, yeah, we're clocking out. It's your boy Hover 676, Fat Dad's Fit Dad. Onways, we out.